Before we do that, I just wanted to share with you some of the basics of online marketing and some of the goals that you should have if you're building your online marketing digital footprint and lead generation systems. The goal here is to have traffic driven to your company from all the various social media and online platforms. And the way that we do this is to convert visitors into contacts and then contacts into clients. It's absolutely critical that it, your online digital footprint, whether it's a website, a blog, a Craigslist ad, a Facebook page, has a way of capturing visitor information. The goal here is to get traffic from your online presence offline as quickly as you can. That means offline is into your own email database system. Does anybody here use something like Constant Contact, MailChimp, a. Weber, you do? Okay. The reason that you want to control the leads and get them offline is that that's where you can build relationships effectively. That's where you can set up automated drip system campaigns that feed them information that's relevant to the reason that they landed on your website or your Craigslist ad in the very beginning. So this is a typical online marketing lead generation funnel. And in the beginning, at the top of the funnel, you have what I call suspects. Suspects are people online that are shopping around, gathering information, and they might respond to your message in some way. And if they fall into your lead capture funnel, then as you begin to elevate and build that relationship through email marketing campaigns, you get them to the center of the funnel. And stage two is where the rubber meets the road, so to speak. This is where you amplify your connections and you begin to qualify and convert those leads. And the end game and the ultimate goal is the bottom of the funnel where you've converted a suspect to a prospect and to a client. This is a sample of a lead capture form that I use. It's one of several. This one is basically set up for people that are doing online searching for real estate. So if they fill in their contact information in exchange for that, I'm going to give them access to a free weekly report on the local neighborhood real estate activity in the areas that they selected. So what we have is a fair trade exchange, right? I call that an ethical bribe. In other words, if you give me your email address, I'm going to give you something of perceived value that makes it worthwhile for you to give up your email address. And this is where you can build a pipeline of prospects. So really, prospecting is just a numbers game. Would you agree with that? The more suspects and prospects that you have in your pipeline or your funnel, the greater the odds are that those are going to evolve into a client. Using email marketing tied to a Craigslist campaign is one of the most effective ways to convert that traffic off of Craigslist and to elevate those folks that are not quite ready to buy what you have to sell or offer into a database of clients that you can market to over time. You know, in my business in real estate, we have a long sales cycle. I've made connections online and it's taken over a year and sometimes longer than that before they raise their hand and they're ready to have a one-on-one -on -one personal interview and actually convert them into a client. But in my business, the stakes are high and that could be a million dollar buyer and a thirty thousand dollar commission so the investment in having the lead generation follow-up systems for me it makes me makes a lot of sense because those are leads that i want to keep in touch with so the ultimate goal here is to integrate all of these elements so that they amplify each other you combine your online marketing social media print media direct mail and email marketing So Craigslist, um, most folks think of Craigslist as a place just to sell things. Craigslist is also a place where you can market your products and services. So you can market your services without having a product to sell. They have places on there. You can also use Craigslist to promote your events. I use Craigslist to promote my webinars and seminars as well as my real estate services in addition to marketing specific listings and properties that I have to sell. Is anybody here using Craigslist in that way where you're actually 
trying to market you know your services as opposed to something you have to sell okay you are how's that working Right. Okay. All right. So, is everybody here familiar with how things actually work when you post an ad on Craigslist? Are you familiar that when you post an ad, the next person that posts an ad in the same category and location pushes your ad down? So you can post an ad at nine in the morning, and by noon you could be on page seven. If you if you happen to be in a category where there's a lot of competition, a lot of active posting. So what's human nature when you search? When you do a Google search, do you go to page seven? No, you, you're gonna, <laughs> you don't. You're gonna deal with what comes up on page one, right? Same thing with Craigslist.